Hey guys, in my last video we looked at arrays, how to create arrays, the three ways, the regular, condensed and literal, and how to access arrays by using index numbers. These 0, 1, 2, 3 are called index numbers. However, let's say you have or you create you want to create an array that doesn't just hold a list, but say you want to create an array for your full course meal like uh, your drink, your starter, your main, your dessert and so on. And you don't want to say my drink is index number zero and you don't want to remember like starter is one and main course is two and so on and you want to use something else instead like your custom uh, not index number but something else and we can do that so let me delete all this and start fresh and this is actually called associative array now what are what are associative array associative arrays are arrays that use strings instead of index numbers in order to access your values okay so it's really useful now let's create an array var uh, full course equals uh, not my new array and i'm just going to use the regular method and let's say a uh, full course full course and normally what we're going to write in here is like zero and stuff but instead what we could do is say full course uh, starter equals and we are going to write uh, the value in here so what I want as my starter I could have olives and full course oops I forgot the R over here full course uh, main and that it could equal I don't know I don't know any posh names uh, 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 steak that will do I love steaks and for course uh, I could have a dessert which could be oops which could be chocolate muffin muffins and we could even have full course drink and I like to drink coke or coca cola to say coke that's a really posh posh yeah that's a really posh for course ollies for starters steak for main course chocolate muffin for dessert and coke all the way okay so we could actually say uh var x equal or var food equal or now just say x equals a uh, full course and inside here we are going to say uh main if we want to access steak and let's document dot write x out oops and let's see what happens there we go it outputs steak and let me change this to like drink and see what drink i like there we go i like coke the drink coke the coca cola not the other bad one so that's called associative array and it's really useful uh, if you want to use your custom strings instead of index numbers because you it's easier to remember like if you want to access your dessert value you just say full course dessert and so on 